Today I've come to Superstar Components. This is a gentleman who's moved his whole business two hours away from where he previously worked. He's on his own. Every machine he's got has got automation on it and the company is thriving. So I'm here to find out his story. Neil, I met you two years ago. Yep. You've moved to Brackley now. You're on your own. I've got to ask. How on earth are you on your own running three Matsuras and all of these vertical machining centers? I, I saw a niche in the market of yeah. the middle ground where people want higher volumes, mm. but not mega volumes or more complicated components where the smaller job shops struggled to be able to bring them the value they needed. Okay. So because I'd already looked heavily into automation from manufacturing ma mountain bike parts, which is where all this came from, yeah. reshoring from Asia, I look at the, I've got to compete with Asia mindset. Is that what it is? Yes. So we have to do, we, we can't throw labor at it. And actually Asia is no longer cheap. So this is falling more and more into our, our, our lap that we can do it here in the UK, mm. but you've got to invest in automation. You've got to be smart and you've got to push the boundaries of how you do things. Yeah. Nearly every machine you've got in this machine shop has some form of automation on it. Yep, pretty much every single one. And that's how you do We've it. We've got everything from robots to pallet changers to gantry loaders, even down to pneumatic vices, because opening and shutting a vice with a spanner takes too long. So yeah. I've got to get the efficiency there and leverage the automation, which ultimately gives my customers better value. How on earth are you scheduling all of this? Well, the nice thing, the reason why I love the Matsuras with 32 or 15 pallets is because I can have multiple jobs happening all at the same time. They're like a vending machine, as Dom yeah. always says. He does, he does. He always says he? they are a vending machine, but it means that you can flex your priorities. So you, okay. you'll come in on a Monday morning and you get machines running. And then later in the week, you can set up new jobs and you can get a call from a customer. They want more parts and they need them urgently. So you can go, I have parts three months in advance, they can wait a little bit. And it allows you to flex backwards and forwards to suit your customers' demands. Did you ever go, I can't afford one of those? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? I, I started off with very basic machines, worked my way through different variations of automation. Um, Dom, I bought a second-hand Matsa, a MAM 7235V. Yeah. And it was like a gateway drug. Is that what it was? It took me a long time to get into it, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. But then over time, it became the workhorse and it made lots and lots and lots of lots. Not even complicated parts, but it meant that it ran 24-7 every single day. I'm getting 90% uptime on the spindle. It runs Christmas Day, New Year's Day, on weekends. On my own. Because I can. Um, because it will do it. And that's an old machine for, for what it is and it keeps running and running and running. And that led me to buy an H plus 300, which I've always wanted, but I didn't have the space. Yeah. And when we focused on milling and I moved to a new factory and a new way of doing things, yeah. I invested in a H plus 315 pallet because it can do the work of 10 different normal vertical Ten. machines. The beautiful thing about the Matsuras is they can run for hours and hours and hours. I've got some tombstones, just one tombstone runs for 14 hours. 14 hours. So I can put the two of those tombstones running and yeah. a few others, and I've got the whole weekend of runtime. Tell me about this model then, because obviously this is your latest model. You've got that continual investment. Obviously you like these machines, we've, yeah. we're, we're, that, that's fine, that's taken it, that's a given. Tell me what it is that you're doing on here then. What What is it that you're like, yeah, this is why I went for this. The beauty of the pallet loaded Matsuras is you can do multiple jobs at once. You don't need to make one part, 500 off, hammer it for a few months and then move on. Because that isn't a flexible way for your customer to get a family of parts. Yeah. We can have 15 different tombstones making 30 different parts all at the same time, all with different priorities, but they're all being made at the same time. So you're constantly getting a selection of parts off. So we're making this part here yeah. for a customer and we've got space to fit another part if required. Yeah. And at the same time, we're making other parts. Yeah. So, I mean, you can obviously do a change if you, yeah. And the beauty is, is that some parts are long runners, some parts are slow runners, and they all work together at the same time. There's no setups because 
We have all the tombstones to work together. We have all the tools, 240 tools in the back, so I never take a tool out of it. It looks after its tool life. It's got a massive coolant system, so you never have any coolant or swarf problems. And it's just reliable. It, it literally will run 24-7, 365 days a year. Um, so in terms of costing and setup, someone who's going to take that leap over here, it's not just the machine they've got to consider, is it? You know, you're talking about tombstones, you're talking about tooling. What would you advise someone who, because even you yourself went, I can't believe I own these and never thought I could. What would, what would you say to someone in terms of their investment? It is a large investment, but you get a lot out of it. Yeah. You, I, I, I always say you get 10 to 15 machines worth of work out of one of these mass servers. Wow. And you can do lots of different things at the same time. Neil, I just find it amazing that you're doing all of this all on your own. Well, I leverage the automation to get the hours out of the machine and make the products efficiently to the customer schedules. Yeah. And I, I, I like that I have a portfolio of machines to manufacture things in an efficient way. And that allows me to use the, the pallet systems on the Matsuras to schedule mm. and plan ahead. A lot, a, a lot of efficiency is about planning ahead. Yeah. I've got jobs which run months in advance, yeah. which allows me to move them ahead to get a rush job in. Yes, yeah. And a lot of these rush jobs and a lot of long-term work comes from other machine shops. A lot of my customers are other machine shops. Yeah. And we aren't competitive. We all focus on our particular niche. And my particular niche is problem solving, long-term production. And a lot of machine shops should aspire to buying a machine like a Matsuri. You might not be in the right place right now. So yeah. get in you touch. You weren't years ago, you I, know? I wasn't. Um, and I've slowly built up to it. Mm. And I'm send me the work. Yeah. We'll make some parts, we'll build up your customer base, and yeah. when the time's right, you can join party. I, I won't have any problems with people moving on, Yeah. but uh, I, I'm here to help people and do the jobs which I'm good at, so yeah. they're freed up to do the jobs they're good at, because I'm no good at doing prototype work. I, I sub that out, I, I sub out my fixture making and other parts, because focus on what you're good at and leverage the automation of what you're doing and what you're good at. There's plenty work of work together. out there. We can work together to make more business and keep customers and reshore.